I feel there is nothing more artistic than loving people. Vincent Van Gogh Vincent Van Gogh is regarded as one of the history's most important and powerful artists. I can't imagine the work he would have done and the other artists he would have influenced in the early 1900s if he had lived longer. I went with Van Gogh's most famous painting, Sunflower because it has so much representation of the artist himself. Van Gogh moved to Ars in 1888. His spirit began to act strangely. His art, on the other hand, was brighter and he was more eager to attempt new approaches. He's painted a lot of still lifes with sunflowers as the subject, such as the yellow house and starry night on the throne. He likes to decorate his room in arts with sunflower. He once said, I want to paint the first half dozen sunflowers to decorate my studio, so that pure harmonious chrome yellow on various backgrounds, on various level of blue background, from the lightest Ver Veronese blue to the most advanced blue glittering. Sunflowers in Van Gogh's paintings are golden in color, full of the desire for life. They seem to be burning. The emotional strokes are so full and powerful. They are really innocent, full of life and exuberant flowers of the sun. Drawing sunflowers is drawing the sun as well as the self-drawing. Sun, sunflower and Van Gogh are integrated. Van Gogh and sunflowers composed the music of life on common blue and yellow, which is the symbol of their tragic life. Sunflower is Van Gogh's incarnation. It is only composed of gorgeous yellow color system. Van Gogh thinks that yellow represents the color of the sun and the sun also represents love. So it has special significance. In Van Gogh's short life, painting sunflower is a kind of expression of loving life. But unfortunately, he went to self-destruction in front of art. My second painting that I chose was Teresa of Avila portrait by famous French painter Francois Girard. He was born in Rome in 1770. After Emperor Napoleon made him a Baron of the Empire in 1809, he was officially known as the Baron Girard. He painted this masterpiece of Saint Teresa of Avila in 1827. After 10 years of this work, the artist died. This portrait was painted on canvas with oils, and it was one of the great masterpieces of the French Romanticism. And this painting that I chose is the great masterpiece of the early 19th century. The painting was commissioned for a hospital and before its placement was shown in the Salon of Paris. Saint Teresa, one of the most prominent figures in Christian spirituality throughout history, was painted by Baron Girard. When we do research the teachings of St. Teresa about prayer, so we can see that she gives us a wonderful description of the art and love of God. In one of her books she says, Mental prayer, in my opinion, is nothing other than an intimate sharing between friends, between Jesus and ourselves. It means frequently taking the time to be alone with Jesus, who we know loves us. The important thing is not to think much about saying a lot of words, but to love much and do those actions which best steers you to the love of our God. And love is a desire to please God in everything. In her life, Saint Teresa received a significant amount of mental and spiritual violence from her fellow Catholics because she realized that the Carmelite convent was not contributing her spiritual life so she decided to break away from it. Her new order met with a great hostility from the church, but she didn't give up on her vision of reformation within the church. Furthermore, when we look at this painting, we can see how the artist represents Santa Teresa emotional pain through our, her eyes. But at the same time, we can feel her peaceful gesture through his praying hands that represent the unity of the soul with God. 
In this portrait, the use of asymmetrical balance is evident as the artist has punctuated larger areas of the shadow with much smaller areas of the bright light. The main focus, San Teresa holding the stability, is central and counterbalanced to the context by the big, relatively plain, and empty areas. The source of illumination in the painting is the light, which creates the strong shadow surrounding her face. So, Gerard created dramatic lighting effect, contrasting the darker area. Also, he used the linear style future smooth areas of color, in which no brush strokes can be seen. I chose this artwork because I like neoclassicism and romanticism. So, neoclassicism represents clear purposeful lines and rationality. On the other hand, Romanticism shows the creative mind, subjectivity, inspiration, and human emotions. But especially why I chose this artwork is because I found myself with some physical and spiritual connection with this beautiful woman, and I recreated this painting. In the first place, when I started to recreate the artwork, I had some troubles with places and subjects. However, I have spiritual similarities with Saint Teresa. As I am a Christian as she was, I can feel and accept that spiritual unity with God that she represented. So, it was easy for me to represent that kind of emotions that she has. And finally, I'd like to point out that if you are not an actor but have the natural ability to express your feelings, I believe you can easily recreate that artwork.